Renowned as one of the ultimate tourist destinations on the planet, the island of Bali is heaven for holidaymakers, shoppers and culture seekers. Millions of visitors descend on the island each year and over the Easter weekend recently, the tropical paradise played host to the Bali International Cricket Sixes held at the Udayana University ground. The tournament is managed by Udayana Cricket Club. It is the only cricket establishment that is fully run by the locals in Indonesia. From this club, we are trying to reach out to all the regions in Bali. There are now six regions that we are doing cricket outreach via the club. The equipment, costs for running the programs, trainers pay, they are all borne by the club. So, we need to find ways to increase its income through means such as this event. It was the 18th edition of the annual tournament and this year it attracted the highest number of participants with a total of 16 teams. Eight sides were formed by players from different countries such as Australia, India and Malaysia. While the other eight were assembled with the intention of generating interest and developing skills among the locals. They were made up of players from the Indonesian islands of Bali and Java. This tournament is especially designed for local t talent uh, and it's the first stage in developing local talent into more uh, meaningful, uh, the more meaningful game of cricket. So it, draw it just draws in any sort of a team and this tournament's been a great success. I hope the players from Udayana Cricket Club will observe the happenings during this tournament, especially since it is on our home ground. Through watching the more experienced cricketers and winners of the final play, hopefully our players will be able to apply what they have learned into their own game in the future. With a land area of 1.9 million square kilometres across more than 13,000 islands in Indonesia, spreading the game of cricket has been challenging. Funding and logistics have proved to be the main stumbling blocks in enabling players to travel and participate in cricket competitions. With these factors in mind, the tournament sponsors assisted two local teams with partial funding to help facilitate their participation in the three-day event. One of these teams was Banten Cricket Club from Java, who also managed to make up for the shortfall with assistance from a state-owned corporation. What we received was not a full sponsorship, but it's enough for the kids to travel. Sometimes, as a treasurer, I use my own money first and get it back in the future. It's pitiful to see the kids training every day, but denied the chance to participate in an event. So we always try our best to ensure they don't miss out. We appreciate the two teams who came from Java. The team from Universitas Indonesia and Banten. We want to help them because we know they have to travel far and they would need funds to sustain. We recognize that it is important to promote cricket among the undergraduates in order for the game to grow. Hence, we decided not to benefit too much from their participation. The trophies for the tournament were specially designed by a local craftsman in true Balinese style and the cup final was contested by two of the tournament favourites. The defending champion from Java, Indorama, took on a family team from Australia, Mabuk Nalpot. The side from Down Under was led by Bruce Christie, one of the pioneers in introducing cricket to Indonesians. As the day heated up, so did the competition. But in the end, it was Indorama who prevailed, clinching their third straight Bali International Cricket Sixes title. We asked the team what was the secret to their success. We have a secret formula is that we work hard, we have a plan, we have good experienced and seasoned players, and with the younger guys, we gel very good and they are taking all the, our experience with us and uh, they are winning. 
Although his team missed out on the title, the godfather of cricket in Indonesia was in high spirits and was proud of the progress that has been made in the game since he started coaching the locals in the 90s. I think the, the big plus is just seeing the young kids, the Indonesian kids, Balinese, Javanese, others, all keen to play cricket. And if they can see the opportunities and they can see, well, the opportunities to look at something not just nationally, not just at a provincial level, but across the whole world, um, let's hope that a few more young kids see what's possible and they can move on and become cricketers. As dusk settled on the tropical island, the event organisers reflected on the unqualified success of the tournament and were already starting to look ahead to the next one. This has been an excellent tournament. We had 16 teams and two of the new teams competed in the cup and played finals. It's been extraordinary. We are all set for 2015 because three teams have already registered. Hopefully next year will be even better than 2014.